have an angle, let's just call that angle theta. If this arc length, okay, so the length of that curve segment is the same length as the radius, so we'll just call this R and S. If this arc length is the same length as that radius, this angle here is called one radian, one R-A-D-I-A-N, sometimes abbreviated as one R-A-D, one radian. So you can see here, if you were to rotate all the way to here, 180 degrees, that's gonna be one, two, three, and a little bit more. So this is pi, which is 3.14 radians. Okay, so pi radians, which is the same thing as 180 degrees, this is 3.14 radians. So a radian is about, it's approximately, we can think of it as 57 degrees, approximately. But the way that we convert from radians to degrees is we actually use this uh, conversion factor that pi radians is the same thing as 180 degrees. So we can use a conversion factor pi over 180 or 180 degrees over pi. Okay, so let's take a look at some examples. So let's say for example you wanted to convert from 45 degrees to radians. So what we can do is 45 degrees we're starting with, which is like 45 degrees over one, anything divided by one is itself. We're gonna multiply it by pi radians over 180 degrees. Now you know you have it correctly because the degrees, that unit is gonna cancel numerator and denominator. When we multiply across, we're gonna be left with radians. So if we multiply the numerators, we get 45 pi, we multiply the denominators, we get 180, and then we can reduce. 45 goes in here once, 45 goes in here four times, so this equals pi over four radians. Okay, let's do another example. Say you have, let's just do 100 degrees. So 100 degrees, again, there's pi radians for every 180 degrees, the degree units cancel, you multiply the numerators and denominators and reduce. So this will give you an exact radian measure. So we have 100 pi over 180. You can reduce by dividing by 10. You can reduce again dividing by two. So you get five pi over nine radians. Okay, now let's do some examples where you're converting from radians back to degrees. So say for example you have two pi over nine radians. So let's start over here, two pi over nine. Two pi over nine radians. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna multiply by pi in 180, so 180 over pi. These are equivalent, so it's like multiplying by one this doesn't change the value of this angle, it's just changing the units from radians to degrees. So notice the pi radians cancel out. You can multiply across numerator and denominator, you get 360 divided by nine, this is in degrees, and if you reduce further, you get 40 degrees. Okay, so we just converted from two pi over nine to 40 degrees, these are equivalent angles it's just that this one's in radians, that one's in degrees. We'll do one more example. Let's say we have uh, five pi over four. Okay, wanna convert that one to degrees. Now, just another note, if you don't see a degree symbol, that little circle right here, then you know that it's in radians. So if somebody just writes three, is that three degrees? It's actually three radians because it doesn't have the degree symbol. So if it doesn't have that symbol, you know it's in radians. A lot of times you'll see these pi when you see a radian uh, measure, angle measure, uh, but it doesn't have to have that pi. It could just be three and that's still radians. So let's go ahead and multiply this one by 180 degrees for every pi radians. You can see the pi's are gonna cancel. Four goes in here once, four goes in here 45. If I multiply across, I'm just 
pre-reducing numerator and denominator, okay, top and bottom. And when you multiply across, you get 225 degrees, and that's your answer. Okay, so this has been about converting radians to degrees, degrees to radians, and a little bit about what a radian is. I'll see you in the next video.